What's up guys, it's Mike here coming at you with another evolution of thought. Today I wanted to talk to you about brain states, how to access them, what are they, and how can they be of benefit to you. Uh, so brain states, science has now actually identified four different brain states. So the brain actually emits electrical pulses and frequencies which we can track and the number of cycles that happen within one second determines the state of brain or the brain state that that person is currently experiencing. So with brain states, there really are just four. It's quite simple. I'm gonna run you through a model that I actually discovered just a few weeks ago and it's really been playing on my mind. Uh, so in terms of brain states, at the very top, at the most conscious brain state, you have a brain state called beta. Uh, so beta is when our brains are really firing quite rapidly, the neurons are really firing and this typically is between 14 and 20 cycles per second and it would be when we're, when we're having to solve problems, when we're having to do any sort of analytical or generally just throughout our, our, our working day when we're quite conscious, this is when we're going to be in beta. Now as we move down to the next category which is alpha, we actually start to move into the subconscious mind. So as we move into alpha, generally this is where all of our creative ideas come from. Uh, this is where we start to see images. This is where we can daydream. We can start to visualize things. And alpha is actually a lot, uh, quite a bit slower. Alpha actually happens between seven and 14 cycles per second. Um, so that's quite interesting. Alpha is the gateway to the subconscious. As we move down deeper, we move into theta. So theta is a brain state that happens through meditation. Uh, deep meditation, you can arrive here. Theta, again, the subconscious mind, it doesn't think consciously and logically in, in words and language. Very often it, it, it's, it's experiential. So it's in images, emotions. And in theta, uh, this is often where we can access our intuition. It's where we can access our memories. And it's also where we can have intuitive flashes or, or things might come to us. So finally, the fourth and final brain state is delta. So delta is the deepest brain state. Typically, it's between zero and four electrical pulses per second. So this actually happens when we're in deep sleep. Delta is all about rest and recovery. It's where the human growth hormone is, is emitted and it's when we're in delta that we really can rest and recover to our fullness. Now, the other thing I just wanted to share with you is research actually suggests that in terms of how many thoughts do we have per minute, now it's estimated that when we're stressed, we actually have about 60 thoughts per minute. Uh, when we're just in a, a normal, regular state, it's around about 30. When we're relaxed and we're kind of moving down into alpha and theta, we're experiencing about 15 thoughts per second. We're in meditation, could be anywhere between zero and 10. And when we're in sleep, again, it's, it's around about zero, really not that many thoughts are happening per second. Uh, so the reason I wanted to share this with you is because I think, and this is really just a hypothesis, but I think through accessing these states, you can communicate and convey with the subconscious mind or to the subconscious mind um, in order to prepare ourselves through creative visualization to respond on a biochemical level so that we can achieve the emotional state of our goals before actually achieving the goal. So that's really, I think, accessing these states is quite powerful. Um, I really personally, I've been using binaural beats in terms of my meditation. So how binaural beats works, again, it's calculated in hertz. Um, so you have two frequencies, one played through the left ear, one played through the right. And it's the differential frequency that is created that can bring the brain down into alpha and theta. Um, I actually used a, a theta binaural beats meditation this morning and I was blown away by how effective it was in terms of just not having any thoughts and really really calming my mind. Uh, so yeah, this is this is a model that I have discovered. Um, not really looking to curate an amazing video blog today, but I wanted to share with you this model. Maybe someone out there has, has a, a bit more experience, they've kind enough to share with me 
um, how they're perhaps using um, creative visualization or, or self-hypnosis in order to arrive at a place where they are able to control and manipulate their emotional states. So I know so often in life, consciously we want to do one thing and unconsciously we want to do the other and we have this confliction. And I know that when your conscious and your subconscious are aligned in order to do something, it removes a hell of a hell of a lot of the friction you can just achieve and arrive at the result you want. So really the reason I'm interested in this is because I'm interested in how I can communicate information to my subconscious mind. Now one last final thing, obviously in the morning and in the evening is when we're gonna be accessing these alpha and theta states before our brain starts to move down into sleep or as we're waking up and the brain is moving into beta. Uh, so it's probably a really good time. Also, I've heard it's a good time to affirm what your goals are, your affirmations, uh, to visualize what it is, the direction you wanna go in, um, in order just to get your subconscious mind on site. Um, so really guys, that's my video blog for today. Uh, let me know if, if you have a way or if you've been experimenting with, with different ways of communicating information to the subconscious. I want to know more. I'm curious. I'm studying this. Uh, I might be coming with some more video blogs soon on a, on a similar topic. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.